Hi, I'm Casey with Foundations Decor, and if you're watching this video, hopefully that means you've recently purchased our tiered tray, and I wanted to show you real quickly how to put one of these suckers together. So I've already uh, cut the box, it's open. I didn't think you needed to see me filming that part. What you're gonna do is pull it out, and let's uh, see if we've got all our contents there. That's the first step. Discard the box, feel free to recycle. Flip it over. It should be packaged in this bubble wrap. Now we're going to just make sure we have everything we're supposed to. So first of all, you should have two tray pieces, two levels. You should have two of these candlestick looking dowel rods there for the extension. And then make sure there's two other pieces in there. Of course, your handle. And this little guy which is the nut that will hold it all together from the bottom. So set that guy to the side. This is how you're gonna to wanna to do this. Again, discard the, the junk. First things first, take your handle. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Just set it on any sort of flat surface. First one you're gonna use right here, it's uh, the shorter of the two um, separators. You wanna stick that on. See, this is how easy this is, and you'll notice as you're building this, if you've bought it from Foundations Decor, that we, again, make sure that the lip is pointed down if you're building it the same way I am. But you'll notice that our trays are about 10 to 15% bigger than what you're used to seeing online anywhere else. Again, the next separator rod. Oops, I want to go that way. See, it's just all building together. Last piece, what? We're going to do this in about 30 seconds. Can you believe it? That's how easy this is. The last step, grab your nut and just screw it on to the bottom if you can see it. Hopefully you're taller than me. I'm not very tall. You don't need to go too tight with it, but make sure it's uh, firm on there. Very last step. Oops, I got to hold the handle so it doesn't spin on me. Like I said, make it fairly tight, but just finger tight. You don't need to get out any tools or anything. And that's how you build a tiered tray without any tools. Last step, straighten it out to where you want it. And you've got one of our beautiful tiered trays made, ready to go. Hope you like what you saw. If you'd like to see other instructional videos, feel free to leave us a comment and uh, like and subscribe. Thanks so much.